Welcome to God's Business, where if you're a Christian entrepreneur, this is the right place for you. This is a place where I interview the top Christian entrepreneurs, thought leaders, and influencers where you can build not just a good business, but God's business, where he is the multiplier of your success. And you're going to hear this many times, where you're going to be able to repeat it over and over again in the beginning of our episodes here. Again, this will be time where I create amazing content for you guys on how to biblically build your business. What does God say about business? Yet there's some things inside of business that you can't read in Galatians. There's a skill or a tactic that's involved and bringing in people that have the sound tactics. They don't just speak the advice or try to break it down, but they're actual implementers of success in business, but they love Jesus. And I really think that one of the most interesting things that I think of when it comes to God's business is that as I'm interviewing and talking to these people, Oftentimes, they've built these amazing companies, these really great companies, and they come to these outcomes, these tactics, these things that they do to build the company, yet nobody knows really the process behind it, how God's voice was involved in the process, how the word and the guidance of God, right? You have the spoken word of God where God speaks to you or speaks to them, and then you have the actual word of God, the physical Bible that you can read it in the and the nuances of those two things and seeing how those influences really play out inside a business. I have a friend of mine who built a company called Lady Boss. And really, you could look at the fact that the name is something people can identify with. You can look at the the movement and what they were building and how they marketed it and all these processes that people go through. Yet at the end of the day, it was a God idea that came up with Lady Boss and then it fit into the perfect structure of the tactics of how you build a business. And so how do we build those two things together congruently where you have the tactical side of building a business with also the side of hearing God's voice? And what does he say about biblically building a business? And if that's something that you're interested in, you're going to absolutely love the show. I I realize that if you go to a church and you connect with people on a spiritual level about Jesus and the church and and things of that nature, which I think are 100% necessary and needed, yet the majority of those people, they don't feel called to business as their ministry. Right? They may work and they may be involved in ministry, but where are the business people where the business is their ministry, where the actual products and services they create is the place that they're called to? And for the most part, those people, the majority of people out there, they don't understand what it's like to build a business. They don't know what 55% of your time goes to. And so it becomes this incongruency where we have the people in our lives that build businesses and the people in our lives that are Christians. You have the opposite side where you have people that you build businesses with that you learn from that have the logical side of how to build a business because God's principles work in whoever's hands, just like gravity, whether you believe in God or not, you jump, you're going to come back down. And so no matter what, the law will work for either one. Oftentimes, people out there are building this prosperity through God's principles, yet maybe aren't sharpening us spiritually where we're with people that we don't align with inside of our faith and inside of our lifestyle and the core values that we have. And we want to immerse ourselves in a place where we're really sharpening these two areas. And I got to the point in my life where I was like, where do I find this? Where I, I really looked at Christians as low performers. And I wanted to highlight that not only is a high performing Christian a normal thing, but it's actually way more common than you'd ever expect. And yet we don't really look for it. And I went on this journey of going, who are the people that are Christians that are actually crushing it in the way that I saw it? One of the scriptures around this is from Matthew 5, 14 to 16, and it says, Let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. I remember when a mentor of mine one time, uh, and this is something that I think is so important when it comes to, to Christians and explaining what's going on in their life. What are they giving, right? They say, don't don't give and let your left hand see your right hand giving. And I think there's a there's a place for that, yet there's also a place of setting an example. And, and here in the scripture, you can see, let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who's heaven. So your good works being displayed for all to see. So we're displaying all these men and all these Christians, displaying the good works of God inside of their life and, and letting that light shine before men in such a way that they will see God's good works or see your good works technically. And glorify your fathers in heaven. So give glory to the right person, but see the good things that are going on in your life. So highlighting those things, I think, are really important. I remember one of my mentors, he once told me a crazy story about how he always put his kids to bed, and whether it's on FaceTime or if it was in person. But this particular case, he told his kids that he was going to be home in the morning and had to travel across the country, not knowing that he was going to run into all these conflicts on the way there. He did whatever it took to get to his kids and serve them breakfast in the morning and eat with them. And I remember I didn't even have kids at the time, and 
it just sat back for me as an example of how I'm meant to be a father. And I held on to that and still to this day think about it all the time with my son. And I thought, if this guy didn't share this with me, would he still be a good father? Yes. I just wouldn't have had an opportunity to step into being a great father as well. He let his light shine before me in such a way that I saw his good works and then I gave glory to the Father in heaven. But it was a way that influenced me to also do that same thing of him being a good father, that example influenced me. So these people that we're highlighting here in God's business are really the the top Christian thought leaders, the top Christian entrepreneurs, the top Christian influencers breaking down on how they actually incorporated God in their business where he became the multiplier of their success with Jesus as the center, Holy Spirit as the covering. God is the multiplier with no compromise, no compromise in business, no compromise in faith. There will be nothing that's held back on inside of this show. When we talk about money or we talk about the Holy Spirit, there will be nothing that is held back from that, really peeling back the layers on some of the most successful people in the world and how God and Jesus were influencing the decisions they made, the steps that they were taking, the paths that they were choosing, and being able to really showcase it for the first time ever in a raw and transparent way where they're not holding back or compromising in any of these areas. See, the economy of business is buying and selling, but God's economy is sowing and reaping. I remember reading from a book from Bill Johnson, and this really impacted me as well as a piece of, of why we want to honor the people that are on the show is because it says that some are too insecure to sow honor. It's almost as though they think they'll be lacking if they give it away. Not so. All heavenly commodities increase as they are released. Those that show mercy have mercy returned to them. That's how the kingdom works. So in this place of leveraging other people and their messages up in this platform, the goal of that is really to get their messages out there and honor them because as we sow, we then reap. It's not just buying and selling and transactional. It's actually sowing and reaping. And I truly believe this as we conclude here on on the baseline of episode 000 for God's business that will be an iconic show in the future. It'll be very interesting to see this years from now as this becomes a top show. Ultimately, when I look at it, the original word for work meant to worship, avada. The original word in the Hebrew for work meant to worship. So your work is worship unto God. And if we knew that, it would just frame it differently. And this show is going to help you do that. The, the reason for work is to produce wealth. Ultimately, the show is going to help you produce wealth. The ultimate reason to, to produce wealth is to create freedom. Now, when we look at freedom, we see people buy jets or buy cars or do all the things that they want to do. But that's actually not what originally freedom was created for. The original purpose from freedom is that we could see from the Israelites being freed from slavery was the ability to worship God. And that's the ultimate form of freedom. And you're going to learn how do you worship God? How do you hear from God? How do you give glory to God? How do you receive honor but give glory? Very interesting. And, and ultimately, that's because we're called to serve the world through our time, our talents, and our treasures, through our time that we invest through our, our talents, the things that we have inside of our hands, the skill sets that we have, and our treasures, our money, our finances, our resources, our connections, to be able to serve the world in a different way. And so for us, that's the framework of what we built this show on. And it's going to show you how to do all those things, how you can incorporate God as the multiplier of your success inside of your business here in God's business. So excited to have you here. Excited to have you guys get served and honored. Thank you for being here. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, Go ahead and do that if you are a Christian business owner. This is going to be the number one place for you, a thought leader, influencer. This will be the number one place that you can actually fully receive without having to spit out all the bones, without having to get half information because they can't fully give you the full thing. You're going to get the full thing here. If you've loved this so far, you're going to want to write a review. Uh, make sure to rate the show, and that way we can get it out to more people and share it with more people that are just like you. Appreciate it so much and excited to have you here.